Hello and welcome to today's video. Just a short introduction to Pro Markers. Um, this is set one. There are 12 colours as you can see and these are the set of the more vivid colours. So there is a set two and they are the pastel shades. If you are not used to using Pro Markers and you want to start using them, I would suggest that you start with this set and also the pastel set and have a play around with those. These markers are twin nibbed and they're permanent. These are permanent markers, alcohol based and they're fully blendable. Altogether, Pro Marker have 148 shades. As I said, this is a set one and there's a pastel set two, but then you've got other sets like skin tones and a variety of other sets or you can buy them individually. Um, the twin nibs, this is the more, the fatter nib. And then on the other side, you have the thinner nib for more detailed work. These um, markers can be applied to paper, card, vellum, acetate, glass, wood, metal and plastic. Um, for purposes for artists like myself, um, I would mainly be using these on paper and the type of paper um, to use them on would be a lot of people use Bristol board which is what is underneath my pad this is um, Bristol board 250 what I find with this is it's with this paper it, I find that it still does bleed um, if you don't work quick enough. So I think the best paper around to use would be some layout paper. Letraset do their own layout paper. So I'd suggest buying a pad of that and you and using that. The paper's quite thin on layout paper. It won't absorb the ink, um, therefore it won't bleed. So you'll get more cleaner lines and your work will look better. What I would suggest once you do get your pack of pro markers is to do a color chart so you can see how the colors are when they turn out and you know what color belongs to what name and you can use it to pick out colors that you'd like to use for a project um for a, you know a variety of reasons this could come in handy so just for i'll do a quick demonstration of how you can do your color chart but you can be a bit more creative than me or do it how you want to do it first colour here is henna, so this is henna, so you just do, and then we've got ruby, so literally just using the fat end of the, of the pen, and then bright orange, these colours are nice and vivid, and when you are using them, ensure to make sure you're using applying lots of the ink to get the best coverage. Canary. See how I'm going over it and then it will not turn out streaky. Lime green. So you can just go like that slowly to let the ink soak in. Forest green. to sky blue indigo blue so that's your light blue in the pack and this is your dark blue in the pack I like that indigo blue it's nice and deep amethyst uh, rose pink And cool grey four. The reason why this is a, called a cool grey four is because they do a pack of greys, which is different shades of grey. So from that range of greys, this is cool grey four basically. And last but not least is black. 
which everybody knows what black looks like. So along with your colours you will get a colourless blender. So that's the fat you get the fat side and the thin side, and this is used to blend your colours together. I will be doing more videos on Pro Markers. The next video I'll be doing will give you some hints and tips on how to use your colourless blender. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please press the like button. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.